Hi, I'm John Sokowski, broker owner of the JRS Realty Group. And in this video, we are going to discuss monthly home maintenance. The maintenance that I'm going to go over on a monthly basis can prevent thousands and thousands of dollars in repairs if it's done every single month. The good news is, is that the typical homeowner who is not handy can do this. You don't need to hire a contractor, but there are certain things that I will tell you to look for. Before we get into that, I do recommend that you have a monthly calendar, meaning every month, same day and time, you should put down what you're going to do and what you're going to check on. So every Saturday of every month, you're going to block out 30 minutes and you're going to do the following. You're going to check your HVAC or your heater filter. This should be changed either monthly or every two months, depending upon the grade of filter you use. If it requires 30 day replacement, then do it. But if you set yourself up on a schedule, it won't be missed and you will add years to your heating system. Maintenance tip number two, walk in your bathrooms and do the following. Check around your toilet for any leaks. Check inside your shower for loose grout, loose tile, loose faucets. Make sure there's no hair accumulated in your drain to prevent water from going down. Check underneath your bathroom sink for any leaks. Check the faucet to see if it's dripping or if it's loose. And if there are any issues, either you fix it, have a contractor come in, give a price, have them fix it. But it's going to save you thousands of dollars if you are preventive. Maintenance tip number three, go to your kitchen and make sure that your refrigerator is functioning properly and efficiently. Is there any dust accumulated underneath the door that you open? Pull your refrigerator out and see if there's any lint or dust stuck to the back of it. If it is, vacuum it out and put it back. Maintenance tip number four, go into your basement and check around the perimeter of the basement for any cracks or leaks. If you have a sub pump pit, Make sure that that is free and clear of any debris, along with an operational sub pump. Make sure that is functioning properly. Test it. If you have a battery backup, make sure the battery is full operational and charged. And our final maintenance tip number five is go outside your property. Stand 50 feet away from your front of your house and take a look at things. Is the siding in order? Is the siding attached? Is, does anything appear to be out of order? Look at your roofing shingles. Can you see any missing shingles or crooked shingles? Or do you see any nails popping through the shingle? Any of those issues, call a contractor, have them come out to address the situation. I don't recommend a homeowner getting on a roof and doing the repair unless you are a seasoned contractor. It's dangerous. Have someone come out and replace those shingles. Hammer those nails back in, making sure that everything is in order and that no water can get inside your home. So if you have any questions regarding our monthly homeowners checklist, feel free to reach out to me. Also, I could stop by at your convenience if you'd like uh, for me to walk around your home with you, uh, take some notes, and obviously uh, prepare what I suggest you do. There's never any cost or obligation. Uh, please reach out to myself. Dan Kuhn, Jamie Streche, Carolyn Ramos, and Melissa Prendergrass. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next video.